Hello guys, welcome to the fourth HTML tutorial for Knowledge Highway, well YouTube slash Knowledge Highway. Uh, hopefully you have been watching the previous episodes, if you have not, I would encourage you to check them out if you do not understand the other bits. When considering this is a very early tutorial, I would definitely go back, because uh, I'm pretty much going to pick up where I left off. Uh, open up, notepad++, plus plus. just going to remove all this stuff. Go to File Save As, as we've been doing the last few tutorials. Uh, save it wherever you want under the name index.htm. If I'm going too fast for you, you should probably check out the previous tutorials again, uh, because I go through it much slower the first few times. Okay, replace, yes. Um, so, shall we begin? Today, I'm going to be going over some important... Uh, well, I'm basically going to teach you about the names for things because we've learned a few tags to play around with and now I'm going to teach you the real theory behind it. And also I'm going to teach you the image tag today. Uh, so that's going to be fun. So let's start off as we always do by opening a uh, exclamation part mark doc type tag and typing in HTML after the in, in there, as you see, as you see. Yes, as it has been done. Yeah, just gonna control S. Um, again, that tag just tells the browser that this is HTML code. Let's open a HTML tag and close slash close HTML tag. So I have told you about these, but I did not introduce the language because I didn't want to complicate things too much, but all this, all this stuff, everything in between HTML and close HTML is part of the HTML element. Uh, that is the name for this. So I've been saying just between two tags, but this is really an element. So this would be, everything between these two tags would be called an element. Now, don't worry if you don't understand this episode. This is really just here so that if someone says, oh, uh, I'm going to put this in the paragraph element, then you know what they're talking about. Basically, if someone were to say that, they'd be saying, yeah, I'm putting this in between two P tags. So open P tag, close P tag, and all this text is part of the paragraph element. And same thing goes for a heading. Sorry if you guys feel like... Oh, jeez. Yeah, full screening, because I'm crazy like that. Sorry if you guys feel like this is too dumbed down. I really want this to, to make this easy for anyone to understand of any background. So, all I can do is apologize if you, already, if you feel like you're picking this up way too fast for these tutorials. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, so any text within the two the h1 and close h1 would be within this header element. This is an element. This is a paragraph element. This is the HTML element. I think you understand now. If you do not, again, great source of information is w3skills.com. Check it out. It's got all the great... It's, it's basically standard, the way that you would learn this if you were not going via uh, videos like this. Anyway, so... Now that we know what elements are, let's find out what attributes are. So last time, let's build up our body. Let's just get to a place where we have something. So open body tag, close body tag, and within the body element, we're gonna type open p close. Gonna type this is some text, and then I'm gonna close my paragraph. And I'm going to remove this spacing because I don't like it. But again, it doesn't really matter about spacing because that's the way it is. I'm going to add this heading one tag above the P tag. Uh, heading, just again, remember this is a heading as we have gone over. Oh, all this revision stuff. So I'm going to make the word text a link to youtube.com because that's, that's great. <laughs> so A a tag and then after the end of where we want our link to end which is after the word text gonna sla forward slash a to close the a tag so this is the a element 
text, the word text is within the A element, being the link element. Uh, so, let's talk about what an attribute is. You know how I told you last time to type h ref equals and then quotation marks and then type the address in here? So http colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com. Um, well, this is actually an attribute. This href equals blah, blah, blah. This bit is an attribute. Uh, other attributes could be, for example, but would not apply to this tag. But for example, if a tag were to have the attribute width, it might look like this. So you could have width equals open quotation mark, however many pixels, and then dot, and then px just to let it know it's pixels. Um, this would be a width attribute. Don't worry about that though, if you don't understand that, it's just, I'm just telling you this so that you know what I'm saying when I say attribute. Basically, it's something within the tag that describes what the tag should act like. In this case, the A tag is being described as pointing to youtube.com. Um, so think of attributes as, well, just that, attributes or <laughs> little descriptions of what should happen what these tags should do. Yes, sorry if that's difficult to understand. You really don't have to understand it, but I thought I'd put it in there for you guys. So, images. We said we'd do images today. So, you have the option of downloading an image or we'll make one. Because, you know, who doesn't want to show off their art skills in MS Paint live? or not so live on a YouTube video. So, I'm gonna open up Paint, if it ever starts. Hello, Paint, nice of you to drop by. So I'm just gonna make an image, it can be any size you want, for now at least. Uh, well, it can be any time, that's confusing, why did I say that? Um, and I'm just gonna draw whatever. You could get a picture of a cat? You want a happy cat drawing? Uh, slash picture. Hey, let's draw a happy cat because I'm talking about it. Um, then go ahead. You want a picture of... Um, a, a donkey? Go ahead. Put it in there. It doesn't have to be an animal. Be anything. <laughs> We're just basically saying how... Teaching you how to include images in your webpage. There you go. Is that not the finest cat you ever did see? It just looks so pretty. Need some whiskers as well. Everyone's like, why are you doing this? This is not helpful to my learning. Well, really, who can't, if you can't take the time out of your day to watch me draw a cat, then then where are you putting your time? What is what is true value to you? Okay, that's, that's gonna do, whatever. So, save your image or copy your image or whatever you're doing to the same folder that has your HTML. Uh, dot htm. This is important. I mean index.htm, sorry. Uh, it's important that you make sure this is in the same folder, otherwise this will not work. Again, I repeat, this will not work if you do not do this. Gosh darn it, putting my fist there. So, I'm gonna save this image as cat.png and paint will add on the .png, so I'm just gonna save it as cat and uh, in that folder. Remember the file type as well. That is important. So, close this. I'm just gonna show you guys my folder. Uh, looks a bit like this. It's got my index.php. This does not need to be here. That was a mistake from a while ago. So I've got my index.php and the image that I want on my website in the same folder. Gosh darn it, in the same folder. Remember, I will not be held responsible if you do this wrong. <laughs> Okay, sorry uh, guys. Anyway, okay, so let's learn this new tag. So after my P, or my paragraph with all that random text, open tag, pointy bracket, IMG space SRC, SRC stands for source, equals, open quotation mark, cat.png, or the name of your image, including the type of image, so the the extension, uh, the bit after the dot, and then close bracket, uh, 
<laughs> Quotation marks. Sorry, I cannot talk right now. Probably not a great idea to be making tutorials when you can't talk. And then close pointy bracket. Save this. Let's open up our web page and click refresh. And boom! My happy cat has appeared all of a sudden. So, let's just quickly go back over. So, making sure that your image is in the same folder, making sure that you take note of what the name of your image is, including the extension on the end, so .png or .bmp or whatever it is, .jpeg, uh, and just enter that in there. So, what if we want to put the cat image in a folder? Well, you can do that. So, let's make a new folder in in that folder that we have been keeping the index and image. Let's call it images. Now, if you get lost anywhere or along the way, I encourage you to just restart the tut tutorial and make sure you're following along exactly with what I'm doing. Now I'm going to move this cat.png into images. And now we're going to go back to our code. And just before cat, I'm going to type images and then forward slash and then cat.png. Uh, that is the bit of text within our two quotation marks that basically says look in the images folder for cat.png. So we save this, we refresh, and it still works. Okay, so what about a folder within a folder? Well, it's the same thing. Uh, so I'm going to add the folder cats within my images folder, move the cat image. In fact, let's not do that first. Let's show what happens. In fact, no, let's, let's do that. So. What happens if we don't change our code? Well, nothing shows up. There's no cat, everyone is sad. So let's fix it. Let's make it images slash cats slash cat.png. Save it. Make sure you're saving. Uh, refresh and boom, the cat's back. It's, uh, it's appearing. So, one more thing. Say you want to link an image from another website. Well, let's go find an image of a cat off of you Google. Uh, so I'm going to type cat into Google, go to images. Now this is something you really shouldn't do without the person's permission that owns the website. But for example's sake, I'm just going to do this and it's not an actual website, so it doesn't matter. It's only me that's going to access it anyway. So let's find the image. <laughs> also, some websites won't let you do this and the image just won't appear when you do this. So if you have any problems with getting this working, it's probably because the image host will not let you do this. Anyway, I'm going to click on right click the image, click view image, and that will give me the URL of the image. At least it will in Firefox. If this does not work for you in a different browser, then I'm sorry. You should be using Firefox because that is the master race. Or maybe not. Just figure it out other ways. Anyway, so I'm copying this link exactly as it is. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's not copying at all. Okay, control C or go to edit copy. And then I'm going to replace this images slash cat slash cat dot ph png with what I found. So paste that in. Uh, to the source, to the uh, very beginning, I'm going to add http colon colon forward colon forward slash forward slash as I mentioned last time this will just tell uh, the browser that we're not trying to look in a subfolder of of where the index file is stored we're trying to search the internet the world wide web for this uh, image so save that and hopefully if this Website allows hot linking. We should see. Yep, the cat. It's appeared on my website now. I've stolen your cat. How do you feel? Probably not so great. Um, but there you go. That's that. So let's go over attributes one last time before we end off this episode. So attributes. What is the attribute in the image tag? Well, it is source because source equals and then quotation marks open and close. This is the bit that is describing where the image is to be found. Let's add another attribute. Uh, so after the close quotation mark, after the source attribute, we're going to type in width equals open quotation mark. And then I'm going to type in 100. 
Uh, and then I'm going to close quotation mark. It will just assume that you're talking about pixels unless you state otherwise. So we're just going to go with that. Control save. Um, make sure you're opening and closing your quotation marks. So this is a width attribute and it's setting the width to 10. I mean 100, sorry. 100 pixels across. So let's view it. Let's see what happens. Oh geez. Boom, refresh, and now the cat is only 100 pixels wide because we've set that attribute, attribute, whatever, however you wish to pronounce it. Uh, remembering back that elements are uh, anything between two tags, so this would, this whole bit would be the body element, and you have remembered everything that you have to from this episode of my tutorials on HTML. So. Hopefully you've learned something from this and managed to grasp the knowledge out of my constant stream of rubbish that I speak. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll be back next time with another tutorial where we will go over tables. So look forward to that. I'll be back real soon.